there YouTubers, it's Dear Natural 62 I'm coming today with another five finger tutorial on water marble. So if you absolutely love this designs, you know, stay tuned. I'll show you how I did them and I'll give you some tips along the way. I hope you enjoy this, so stay tuned. Thank you. All right, let's get started. I used um, Sally Henson's Powerful Acrylic Gel as a base coat. It's very great for your nails because it's not also used as a base coat, but it's great to keep your nails hard. So I started off with that, and then I applied one coat of LA Colors in White BBC 561. So we're going to start with that color first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to answer questions that I get. Number one top question I get is, what temperature is my water in? This is regular room temperature water. It is not any type of special water. It is just regular room temperature water. Um, another question that I get a lot of is, why is it that my colors don't open up as easily as yours? Now, this is what I've learned through experience that the thinner your polish is, the easier it is to open. But if you're having difficulty, thin out your polish a little bit and then try it again. It should work. As you can see, some of my polish has already dried. So I'm starting from the white, which is the third color in. If you notice your colors are drying from the edge, you have to move in a layer. Now we're gonna go in. My first finger I'm going to do is my ring finger, and I'm not using anything on my fingers. I'm not taping or anything. Now I'm going to dip my finger in. I clean the surface with a Q-tip because it's just a Q-tip is just larger and it just cleans up the mess much quicker. But what I do is I blow on the top layer once or twice to get the top layer dried and then it's just easier for me to clean up. And then I just clean up because then that way you can pull up your finger and so now I'll clean this up and then we're gonna start with our next finger for our next finger I'm gonna show you another cute tip someone showed me uh, I'm gonna take a regular chapstick no name chapstick and I'm gonna place the chapstick all around my finger okay now we're gonna start with wet and wild sage in the city <laughs> we all know what that sounds like so we this is a sheer sheer green so I'm going to drop like several drops of this which you can do with no problem now I'm gonna put my LA Now, I really don't want this to spread, so this is good for me because since I dropped so many ringlets of the green, we're going to take it from here. That's a cute design. So now we're going to go in with this finger that we've put the chapstick on. Just position your finger where you want your design. There you go. 
and then now I'm gonna show you how easily this comes off see it just literally wipes off again with our LA colors in white Then we're gonna do Sally Henson Red. Now another question I get is, are these my natural nails? Yes, these are my natural nails. You can do this both on acrylic nails and natural nails. Now, as I've always said, patterns are what you make them. You can make any type of design, any type of pattern you'd like. And there you go. So this is for the people that can't tape. Um, another thing you could try to do is you can use a little bit of cuticle oil. If you have cuticle oil, you place a little cuticle oil all around your finger. So this is another alternative to taping your finger. So let's get started. Sally Henson's Blackout. And then we're going to add Sally Henson's red. A couple of drops of that. Then we're going to add white. LA Colors white. dip this so I'll get this pattern here. So now doesn't that look gorgeous? And then I'm going to show you because you did the cuticle oil it just literally glides. Now moving on to my last finger. Let's go in with LA Colors White. And then I'm gonna do LA Colors Pink, which is BBC 586. And as I've said before, you should try to move quickly with this. I 
thing I like about this, even when you mess up, something pretty can come out of that. See, never know. Had your doubts, right? So did I. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back with the finished product. So here I am back. I've put on a top coat and my nails are completely dried. And I absolutely love the five designs I came up with. Um, as you can see with the blue one, I thought it needed something. So I just added a sparkling dot right there. It gave it like a punch to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And definitely follow me on Twitter for more pics, tips, and me at DearNatural62. Take care. Bye-bye.